I'm Graham. I'm Brad. I'm Phil. That's um, today we're doing Rogue uh, Shakespeare Oatmeal oh. Stout, which is on the bottle. It's uh, perfectly put. World Stout Champion. Period. Mm. Nailed it. The number one. Boom. Of the world. Best stout in the world. So, now, Rogue Breweries is one of the, uh, it's probably the premier brewery uh, coming out of Oregon, out of Newport. It's a coastal town. Um, they also have a very good aquarium uh, in Newport. It's fantastic. Uh, so, they, they've been around for a while, and they are, uh, they're pretty awesome. Another shout out, uh, Rogue had one of oh, the yeah. best... Um, brewery nights that we've had, where it was Rogue and uh, Yakima Bay Shooters, uh, Oyster Shooters, right. at wow. the Blind Tiger, which was just phenomenal. Right. It was great. Where are they um, Oh, Toronto, Toronto Bills. Toronto Bills? They're not yeah. going to change the name? Mm. They're not actually going to go there. Oh. Mm. Look to the, the, the Porter and Stout guy right now, and wonder what he thinks. No, I think it's good. Um, I, I, I definitely think it's delicious. It um, It's better off draft, and yes, that's pretty absolutely. universal for most beers, I would say. Um, this almost tastes slightly watered down. Now, I'm not saying watered down like a Coors Light. I'm saying slightly watered down to the fact that if it's a oatmeal stout to me, it's got to have a little bit more like meat, for lack of a better term, of like a little mm. bit more heaviness to it. Yeah. And this is a little watered down. Now, I'm 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 gonna disagree with the world's best stout, but I am going to say that this bottle that we have, because it's bottled, um, is not the best representation mm. of not this. indicative of. The, uh, it, the, 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 I, I've had this on drafts actually at the aforementioned uh, Blind Tiger event, and it's phenomenal. Right. I think you're right about it being better off a tap, but not not just because uh, every beer is better off a tap, quote unquote. Yeah. Um, but I think that more so than any other beer, when you get into the darker categories, whether it's porters or stouts, you know, the really kind of heavy beers, there is a something to be said to the experience of the texture or the weight of the beer that a tap will give it that you can't get off of a bottle. Right. It's it's going to be uh, it's going to be smoother. When it hits your tongue, like I agree with you, it feels, it, it tastes watery, but I think that, I think tastes watery is an inaccurate thing. I think it feels watery because it hits your tongue a little bit more, uh, it strikes it a little harder, right? There's, there's a, it's like almost like the difference between a hard water and soft water. It's a little bit smoother as far as the initial impression when it hits your tongue. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and review uh, Rogue Shakespeare Oatmeal Stout. Um, I believe a long time ago when we did the live vlog from Blind Tiger, I said, Stout, Shakespeare, I'm sold. Still am. Um, I would give this a 9-3. Um, the, the reason why is because I think this is an excellent beer. I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. This beer itself, more like an 8-7. I've had this on draft. I've had this on nitro. It's a much better beer than what is offered from the bottom. Mm. And this is a good lesson, you know, just for everyone. The more you know. Um, so so I'm, I'm giving this the benefit of the doubt and saying it's a 9-3. I do love the flavor of this quite a bit. It's better when it warms up also. I, I yeah. pulled it out of the fridge well, a really while good. ago, but it, the more it's and more smooth drink. No, I mean, even the, the fact that it calls it, I mean, what is it? Oh, yes, no. Technically, it's not. I mean, I, I, the oatmeal to me gives it that smoothness, but um, the coffee part is also very much there. I mean, it has a, a lot of flavors. I would drink this all the time. Right. You know. Right. If I, if I was a stout person, I would drink this all the time. Unfortunately, it's not really what I'm looking for. No, I'm actually giving this an 8-8. Eight, eight. All right. All right. I, I really am impressed with this beer. It, it's, it's fantastic, but I wouldn't drink it normally, but I do like what they're trying to do. Yeah, no, I'm going to go right in there. Yeah, I'm going to go, right yeah, I'm gonna go straight 9-0 again for this one. Um, it is, it is, it's one of those kind of like almost picture-perfect stouts, right? Like this is a, a, one of those things where if you wanted to explain to somebody what a stout or an oatmeal stout was, it'll work for both. This is one that, that will inform without offending. 
right? So you can get them to pick out the flavors. It's got a very, very good uh, toasted flavor on the end of it, so you can get them, you can explain to them the toasted malt's part of it, about why it's so dark, about what it is, you know, go for that toasted, but it's not an overpowering toasted uh, flavor on the end of it, and it doesn't taste too burnt to turn off a lot of people. And I think that's, that's a lot, that's really key for what they're trying to do. Um, it's got a very, very mellow flavor uh, as, uh, across the entire profile, and you're right, as, as it warms up, not only does the impact as far as the severity of the flavor when it hits your tongue lessen because it gets smoother, but it also does taste good warm, which is difficult to do in a lot of, a lot of beers. So I'm going to go straight 9-0. Rogue, whatever. <laughs> yeah. We'll